So this one's called The Things We Never Spoke About at Dinner. It's going to be the title piece for my new thing coming up. New shit. New, new shit. shit. The walls of my childhood home speak to me in rough gasps of air and choked sobs. Tally marks inside the closet, a tracking of the days where I wanted to scream out loud, mirror the bellowing in my mind, my mother's laugh over 80s music playlists. The smell of pancakes on Sunday morning for my father, the only shreds of light with the walls, the plaster, blood stained and tears streaked are the only reminders of what happened. They prove I survived. Mm -hmm. uh, that's like a <laughs> Uh, the next one is from my older book called Trigger Warning, because I couldn't put a trigger warning in front of everyone at home. It's called Survive Didn't. <clears throat> Sometimes it feels like there is nothing worse than being shamed for the person you had to be in order to survive. Mm -hmm. Oh, you are such a whore, they scream red face, openly mocking you for the amount of touch stars and counters you welcome. Mm -hmm. oh, do you know what it feels like to not be embraced for years? to welcome a beating because at least you are experiencing the wrath of human flesh. A fist is still something to kiss, mm. to hold, to feel. So yes, at one time you rolled around in the throes of semi-passionate fucking. So what, you didn't come. It was never about the big O. You just needed that hole inside of you, the one that kicked and clawed and screamed for something more than the burning of vomiting of Jack and Jill and Jim Bean sandwiches. That big, open, gaping hole ached to be filled. Pussy was pussy, and hey, at least you had a warm bed to sleep in for a few hours. To get that oh, shit, oh, shit. At least you got to curl up next to her for a few hours before going back to your car. That shitty little one-person half mattress and a bottle of tequila to warm you wasn't nearly as nice as her. So call me a slut, a whore, a junkie, an alcoholic. Go ahead, ask someone about me. I can promise that you will hear something different each and every time. There isn't a person alive who can put all these stories, all these misconceptions, unintentionally humorous renditions of a person who doesn't exist together. Whew. The path that led me here is crystal clear. One single chronicle amongst a sea of mistruths told by those who never bothered to know me in the first place. Call me whatever you want. Ask me whatever you want. It took a very long time to learn how to know myself and an even longer time to accept the mistakes I can never fix. I've got more scars etching a saw that you haven't earned the rights to, slashed across my skin. I am a tidal wave of emotions, an endless black hole of repressed anger, dismissed trauma, and explanations I was owed but never given. Mm -hmm. I have so much to say. And I will be damned if I allow anyone to silence me. I will not be quiet. I will not act small. I am a force to be reckoned with, and I refuse to condemn myself to a life of asking for my own forgiveness when I've given absolution to one of the most despicable acts against me. I am me, unapologetically. Mm. And if what you've heard from unreliable sources, never the horse's mouth matches your agenda, maybe you're being told the wrong fucking things. Mm. Survive. Mm.